Okay. Uh uh. Oh my God! The water spill. My lashes I'm wearing today, y'all. My lashes. My lashes got stuck onto the bottle. Oh my. My gut. My nitty patootie. You know what my favorite comment is whenever I'm jumping through the roof and people are like, she has low energy today. What do you want? Fireworks coming out of my home? What do you want me to give you, my soul? Guy. Hey, um, just wanna let you guys know, shameless plug, Boss Band Party Animal are launching this Wednesday the 18th. Are you ready? So that's happening. And if you don't follow me on other social media, she should be so you can know all the tea. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I pretty much filmed an impossible challenge and I've never done this challenge before and yeah, it's a $20 makeup challenge. You're supposed to be able to find a full face of makeup or like buy a full face of makeup worth $20. Would it have been easier if I dug through my own makeup and pulled out a bunch of like Shop Miss A and stuff that I bought for $1? Yes, but I feel like that would be, not that it's cheating because you can make challenges whatever you want, but what I wanted to do in the challenge is go into a store and try to buy $20 and get a full face out of it. Was I able to get every product? Absolutely not, but I tried to like finagle and figure out what would be best and what I can make the best out of everything. Thing, so that's pretty much what I did. I'm gonna show you the footage of me at CVS. And by the way, the makeup at CVS was kind of expensive. I went to the wrong store. I should've went to the Dollar Tree, but we already did that challenge. <laughs> What's happening? Taking some subscribe song, we're gonna jump right into this video and get the whole show going. Oh, you're making people sick. I have seasickness. Subscribe. <laughs> we're here live on the scene with Laura Lee. Recording live, we're about to do the $20 makeup challenge. Welcome to my home. So the goal for today's video is to find a full face of makeup for $20. It's gonna be really hard and I'm gonna have to... Girl, there's a sale. Watch is out. Is that with or without tax? That's without tax. Don't try me, YouTube. We have buy one, get a second 50% off. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I feel like we should just start with wet and wild and keep it real. This is all you get. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. Shall we? You see my tracks? No, you're good. Let's go. Oh, here's Elf. Come. Come. Mm -mm. Let me see what we have. <laughs> On the F. Uh. We got a $3 brow pencil. But I feel like if I bought an eyeshadow palette, that had brow color in it, we could use that. Oh, my feet hurt. Is that oh, cheating? It's $5, but I think there's a Maybelline foundation. This is $3. We have to get mascara. Like, there's no excuse or like any substitute, I should say, for it. Girl, we got eyeliner over here. $3. This used to be a dollar. Rip off. I would get one 50% off. Come on, we got a sale. We got a sale. Get in here. Well, bam. Wow, they really are not playing games. What color do we have here? Diane said lippies. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I found clearance stickers, but it looks like the clearance lipstick is four seventy four from CoverGirl, which is gonna cost more than the Wet n Wild lipstick, five ninety nine. I'm gonna test that. Okay, Elf, baby, you're out. I'm gonna try True Beige, and I'm gonna go scan it and see which is cheaper. This lipstick here is an outrageous price of $2.59. So what we're gonna do is put her back and then we're going to put a lip liner for $1.49 and just fill in my whole lip with it. Y'all wanna see what I got from CVS? This is like one of those things where your boyfriend thinks this much makeup is $20, but really it's like this much makeup. I got a wet and weld mascara. I got a Rimmel eyeshadow palette. I got a foundation and a lip liner. That is all. And my total was $19 before tax. After tax, it was like 21. We don't count the tax in this video. I felt like the cashier was feeling bad for me because she was like, I was like, oh, that's almost 20. I only have $20. I can only do 20. Like as she was checking out, cause I was telling Ty, I was like, we can only do 20. And she was looking at me like, okay. I was like, oh, thank God it, it got to 19. She's like, oh no ma'am, I'm so sorry, but it's gonna be 21 with tags. And I was just like, what, oh no. And then she pulled my receipt off and she was like, we do have coupons though for next time you shop with us, you can, you can try to use the coupons to get a discount. And I was like, 
Thank you. But you know, whenever you're at Sephora and you're checking out and you're watching the total and you start sweating, you're like, oh, I have done. I spent all my money on makeup and girl, ain't a thing changed. The tea is I don't have a facial primer. I never do. So I'm gonna go in with the Stay Matte True Beige Foundation from Remill. I'm going to use my handy dandy Y6 brush from Muffy Morphe. And another reason, this is the cheapest foundation in the store, by the way, in CVS. And another reason I'm using this is because it has such full coverage that I wasn't obviously able to get a concealer. So I can use this as a concealer as well and we can kind of double duty it because it will cover my dark circles. I also did not get a setting powder because I couldn't, it was just not in budget. We have to do the best with what we have. So next up I have this palette and the reason I picked this, A, it was one of the cheapest palettes in the store and B, we have a dark brown shade I think I can fill my brows in with and then a couple other shades I can use in different ways. First, I'm going to take an angled brush and try out this dark brown shade for the brows. It looks like the color is gonna work pretty well for the brows. So we have foundation, brows, and concealer. We have a brow on and I do like the brow. The brow color is like a wee bit dark, but like I like the brow, like I don't have a problem with it. And you know, the challenge is working out. So I'm gonna fill in this brow and then we'll move on. Bra -ba 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 -ba. What did I just say? I just said, I don't even think I said a word. So now I was thinking of taking this shade out of the Rimmel palette and using it like a highlighter. I don't really have, I like, I don't have a bronzer at all. Like, don't have a bronzer. So I'm going, this shade looks real pretty though. Let's see. Girl, yeah, see that's a little highlight. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, the highlight's actually really pretty. This high, this, this eyeshadow, this eyeshadow shade is super shimmery bronzy, but I really want to try and take a little bit of it. This could be a mistake and like add some bronzer to my skin. Oh God, I messed up. Okay, well that didn't really work, so I can cover it with foundation. Actually, it worked a little if you mix it with foundation. Y'all, I'm getting real crazy up in here. So I put it on, it looks a mess, and then I dilute it with my foundation brush. And is it the best contour ever? Absolutely not, but is it better than nothing? Probably so. I'm going to take an R39 brush and I'm gonna go in with, ooh, this mauve purpley shade. I have no eye primer, I have no concealer to put on my eyelids. I probably should have put a little foundation down before I went and got crazy, but here we are. Um, and you can see that this is really, really, really creasy. Probably because I have no foundation down or nothing down, so I'm really gonna have to work with these colors and just get them to Create something beautiful. If you are on a budget, I do either recommend doing some research, getting some coupons, or simply you can watch my Dollar Tree challenge. We really made that work. Like you go to the Dollar Tree, get some affordable makeup, check out the clearance section. This, it just is creasing so bad. It's like the more I blend, the color disappears. So I'm not gonna lie, like I am struggling a little bit with that eyeshadow as far as the matte are a little bit difficult to work with. The bronze is like a dark brown. <laughs> so I'm taking the darkest brown shade, which is what I used for my brows because that seemed to be so incredibly pigmented. So this color has like a ton more pigment to it. Um, I'm liking it a lot better. It's definitely not creasing as much. So now I'm going to put a little bit, this is so weird, but I'm gonna put a little foundation in the front of my eye. Cause I don't feel like that shimmer is gonna stick at all if I don't have a cream product down. It just seems very powdery whenever I swatched it. So I gotta admit, it makes me pretty nervous. So I'm gonna put a little foundation down, little boop, 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 little foundation never hurt anything. I would not typically put foundation on my eye. I would use um, either a paint pot or I would use a concealer. I find it a little thicker and they work a little bit better and foundations can be a little oily sometimes. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go in with our highlighter shade, which is a very pretty shade, but it's a little powdery, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm just gonna press it on with my finger. Oh, see that's pretty. I feel like the foundation definitely helped it out and made it stick more. I am tapping into a little bit of this darker purple shade and I'm gonna try to blend it a little bit. Just to give it some pizzazz on this outer edge. Eh. 
not really showing up too much. And I feel like our eye look looks pretty good. And we just got highlighter, bronzer, and eyeshadow out of this palette. Like that's a win in my book. Go ahead and take some of this lighter shade and pop it in my, I keep trying to look into this mirror, but then there is no mirror, which Putting it on my brow bone is a really intense white color, but you know, we're gonna use it anyways. Actually, I'm gonna take this uh, brow shade with a brow brush and just run it all the way. Make it look a little extra smoky. So I'm going to take our mascara from Wet n Wild. Just go ahead and pop that right on these lashes. All three eyelashes that I have left. All right, so this mascara, is not one of my favorites. It's a bit watery, and just to be fair to the mascara, my lashes need all the help in the world they can get. So I don't really give mascaras a lot to work with in the beginning. I'm actually gonna take this little nugget brush that came with this palette, and I'm gonna take the darkest shade. And y'all know, y'all already know that watch my videos, I really like to connect the edge and just bring it around the town. So now I'm going to take the Mega Protein Mascara and I'm going to coat these lower lashes the best that I can. Lastly, for my lips, the most affordable way to do lips was to buy a Wet n Wild lip liner, which was like $1.50. I even looked at the cheapest Wet n Wild lipsticks and they were like $2 and some change. I think they were $2.50, so it ended up being cheaper just to do a lip liner. So I'm just gonna have to line my lips to fill. In case you're wondering, I got the shade Chestnut. They had like two shades to pick from. Wow, I look like shit. This is the part where I cheat in every challenge and I'm gonna put on a lash. But if uh, you wanna see what the look looks like before the lash, well baby doll, you're looking at it. All right, guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I, they're okay. There are things that we need. I needed a different lip color probably with the eye, but I think it works. Um, you know, the eye look turned out all right. I've worked with the eyeshadow. It made the eye look turn out pretty good. The skin looks all right. I mean, we have highlight. We could use a little more bronzer and maybe a little setting powder because she's crazy. For $20, like, come on. I think it did pretty good. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comic section. I always say comic, and I mean to say comment. Also, the mascara was just, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't like this. It just didn't do absolutely anything for my upper or lower lashes, so I probably won't use that again. The palette, I would totally use again. Love the foundation, and lip liner's real pretty, but I'd probably put a gloss with it because it's very drying because it's lip liner all over my face. But thank you for watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. Words, game.